Welcome to Fitch Painting and Repairs Garage. Today's project, this is an update or continuation on the last video. This is the 2002 Suzuki TL1000R with the no start issue. Basically what we had, if you saw the other videos, you all know, but we just had a no start issue and had to go through and test the wiring harness. Now, an update on what I have found in regards to these connectors located under the front left side of the fairing. You have those connectors. Um, this is the connector that comes from the switch housing on the right handlebar. It has the start button, the run stop button on it. Um, that all connects into this wire bundle and then you have the green the yellow with green stripe wire and the orange with white stripe wire which are the two wires that come from the start stop the start button so i think what it was is i pulled this connector apart you know and before i pulled it apart you know you grab the wires and you pull them and you know they moved somewhat nothing alarming or anything like that nothing really stuck out you know stuck out and uh so i pulled that connector apart and uh pulled the wires out and then i just connected them together outside the plug and uh tried manipulating the wire bundle to see if it, i had the intermittent where it would cut in and cut out uh the starting button and uh right now i can't get it to recreate the problem <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to get some heat shrink and, uh, you know, I'm going to crimp the female in together a little better so that it's tighter. What I found is, I don't know if it's going to show up on the video is good, but basically when you're moving this bundle, what I'm having is, is the little male peg that goes in here, right here. Let's see if I can separate. See how easy that just came apart? I believe what is happening is when this wire bundle moves, these were moving inside and this was free floating inside this female connector. She's a little bit spread out. See how there's a gap in that? So we need to pinch that together a little bit. Being very careful because these are very fragile. Um, they, they can be replaced real easy. I'm just out of these particular connectors right now. Um, I ran out doing uh, a painting or ex wire extensions. Uh, buddy shop gave me these to uh, replace a section that I thought was bad, but ended up being while I was testing them, I found out that my meter leads were bad. So I didn't reuse these. I didn't use them. I didn't have to. I just got them. They're good test leads. So you know, uh, I'll show you what a good brand new female end looks like if this will show up on the camera. All right, if that's showing up, see how it's all pinched together. It's nice and tight. I'll put these together real quick. All right, so in the in that wire bundle and that connector, this is how they fit together. And I, I'm having trouble because I don't have a tripod. I need two hands, but. What I did the earlier, just using my thumbnail, slid that right. See how much resistance there is in that and how tight it is? So, I think what the problem is, is this is just losing contact and moving around in the wire bundle. I think. So, what we're going to do is we're going to tighten that up a little bit. We're going to... Put some heat shrink on it. See how loose that is? That shouldn't be like that. So I think that's where the brake is in, in power. This is your power line. This goes to the starter relay. That's what this wire runs to. You know, so we're going to just put some heat shrink on this. You know, after fixing it, we're going to leave these wires out. We're going to button up the bike real quick, get her off the lift. Do a road test, dynamic test on it. Basically, you know, get it off the bench so that I can turn the handlebars left and right, push the bike forward, hit the brakes, operate the clutch, start the bike, put her in gears, shut the bike off, put her on a side stand, turn the handlebars, 
blah 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 test it and see if it we can recreate the no start situation if after several attempts and no start situation you know come in here move these wires around manually try it again see if we got a no start situation and if I can't recreate it then I believe I might have fixed it so luckily we didn't have to hopefully we won't have to replace that entire wire harness which is gonna run him about 250 with the taxes and all so if that's the case you know we can fix that and if not you know with uh, the way that I'm gonna repair it for right now then when my order comes in with the wire connectors I'll have them come back I'll reconnect those and put them back inside the wire bundle but if not it'll be still you know it, it, it'll just be heat shrink it, you'll still be able to pull it apart and everything you just have to cut the heat shrink off of it which is not a problem it's still quick connect it's just not quite as insulated but I will double or triple up the um, shrink tubing when I put on it to make sure because that is a live wire we don't want it touching anything in their metal and shorten out the whole system <laughs> alright stay tuned We'll, we'll let you know what's going on with the rest of this project. You know, this one's been a head scratcher, man. But I'll tell you, man, experience. Yeah, best way to learn. That's the way I learn, you know. You know, I'll research, read, try, go back, fail, try again, fail, try again. Come up with a hypothesis, you know. If I can't prove it, then I move on to the next theory. And, you know, eventually you'll solve it or eventually you'll get frustrated and, you know, take a break from it. Sometimes you'll have a moment of clarity after you've taken a break for a while, you know, and you're like, how, how'd I miss that? Or, you know, you'll just happen to spot something that you didn't notice before, you know, kind of thing. So we'll, we'll see. Hopefully this is what solves this problem. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys.